On the Medical Watch, modern technology meets craftsmanship in cancer care. A tumor in the bone requires precise removal and reconstruction. That's why a local surgeon is harnessing the power of 3D printing to help his patients find better healing. This cane I actually got from my grandparents who came from Ireland in their 20s. The old family heirloom helps Michael Swears get around these days. It's a picture of me probably six, seven years old, and I'm sitting there with this cane. It's kind of crazy to think that I have it nowadays. But something much more modern is helping him heal after surgery. So this is a 3D printed model of uh, Michael's tibia. It's a simple model compared to some of the more dramatic pieces in Dr. Alan Blank's collection. This one, a modern sculpture of sorts. Before the surgery, I can feel the tumor and feel where the important arteries and nerves are so that when I go into the surgery, I can actually put my hands around the tumor and I, I know where I am because I've been there before. The 3D printed models help the orthopedic oncologist visualize an osteosarcoma, a rare form of cancer in the bone, and plan how he'll remove the tumor and reconstruct the area, typically with donated cadaver bone. If we can get those surfaces of the bone perfect and the cuts on both the cadaver and the native bone perfect, then they'll, they'll, they'll have great contact and they'll heal. It's a technique he used to treat Michael after a bump on his leg wouldn't go away. It was just, I was in so much pain. We got an MRI done and we found out with a pretty decent sized tumor in my leg. This is the, the cancer, which was right in the middle of the bone there in the pink. Dr. Blank works with a team of engineers and designers to build the 3D printed bone models. Then he plans where he'll make precise cuts. I decided that the top cut was going to be right here where you see that pink line. The bottom cut was going to be down here. A custom cutting guide is also printed, one for the patient's bone to remove the cancer, another for the donor graft to ensure the exact cuts and angles are replicated. The best scenario for a perfect fit and proper healing. Once the bone is removed, there's a big hole in the bone from here to here. I use another one of these cutting guides, the exact same one. I put it on the cadaver bone and I can make exactly the same size of bone which will fit perfectly right into here and it will have the best chance at healing. The donor bone in his leg will eventually fuse with his native bone. It took a lot, so a lot of physical therapy, but I'm very happy with the progress. So it's so great. You think about mm -hmm. technology making our lives easier, but this is really enhancing life. Yeah. And Dr. Blank also uses the 3D printing to make metal implants in case a cadaver bone mm -hmm. isn't going to work for a patient. So it's just the possibilities are so fabulous. Sounds like it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dina. Dina. Thank you.